There's nothing quite like the Sphinx cat, and in this video, we're gonna compare the male Sphinx to the female Sphinx to find out which one is better for you. Four out of five Sphinx cat owners agreed that their male Sphinx cat is way more affectionate, playful, and friendly compared to the female Sphinx. That doesn't mean the female Sphinx is bad, but there are some big differences, and in this video, we'll break down their temperament, training, size, lifespan, and everything else you need to know to compare the male to the female Sphinx. So let's get started with their temperament. As we start with temperament, we'll look at the male Sphinx cat first. Male Sphinx cats are just more relaxed, stress-free, go with the flow, they're more affectionate, they're great with kids, they just love to be around their family, hanging out, doing whatever you're doing. Yes, they're definitely mischievous, and they can be a little ridiculous at times, but that's what makes cats cats. But in general, they do great with kids, other pets, and they blend in perfectly with the family. And male Sphinx somewhat resemble a puppy-like behavior, which exemplifies their friendly and outgoing nature of the Sphinx cat. As for the female Sphinx cat, they're generally a little bit more reserved, a little bit more sassy, as they have a boldness and they look to intimidate or impress as they walk around with a little bit of an attitude. They're not as easy going as the male cat, as they can be referred to as divas, full of antics and looking to do different things with their flamboyance. From the way they cuddle to the way they present themselves, it all must be done on their terms. They're affectionate at times, depending on their mood, not yours, and they can come across a little bit more independent. Females are also friendly, but it takes them more time than the male to get accustomed to other people, animals, other cats, you name it. They're just a little bit more reserved and not as easygoing as the male. Now let's compare the size difference between the male and the female Sphinx cat. First, we'll start with the male cat. A fully grown male cat can be anywhere from eight to 11 inches tall. 13 to 15 inches long, and anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds. The male is generally bigger. As for the female, the female is a little bit shorter, not as long, and their fully grown weight is anywhere from 10 to 12 pounds. In general, the Sphinx cat is a medium-sized cat, and because they're hairless, they do look a little smaller than they actually are. But this is a robust cat that can handle a lot. So whether it's a male or female, it really doesn't matter, they're about the same size, and the female definitely makes up for the size difference and how sassy and feisty they can be, so it's really a wash, and size doesn't matter when it comes to the Sphinx cat. We'll compare and contrast the training for the male and female Sphinx. We'll start with the male. Like we said before, the male is more easygoing, so they'll be up for a lot more things. You show them what to do, they may or may not do it, whereas the female definitely wants to do things on their terms. So if you get a male, they're way more open to training. You can have them trained to go for a walk, when to go to the bathroom, when it's time to eat. A Sphinx cat is just more open to this if they're a male. As for the female, we said it before, this is a more stubborn cat when it's a female. Wants to do things on their terms, a little bit more independent. Training can be a little bit harder because they are more bullheaded and don't want to do things unless they want to do it. So if you get a cat, especially a male or female Sphinx, know that the male is much more trainable, open to ideas, whereas the female wants to do things on her terms and it may be harder to train and get them to do what you want them to do. Next, we'll compare and contrast the maintenance between the Sphinx cat and the male cat. If you're gonna get a Sphinx cat, one of the main things you have to be concerned with is that they don't have hair, so they need your help in keeping it clean. Other cats have hair, and they can lick themselves, but a Sphinx cat needs your help to give them baths almost weekly. And in order to do this, you have to make sure that your cat is up for it. So if you wanna get a Sphinx cat, a male, again, is gonna be more easygoing, up for the challenge of giving them a bath, whereas a female is not gonna like it so much and they can be very standoffish when it comes to water. Because they don't have hair, they've evolved to know that they need to be washed and it's up to you as the human to help them get this done. So whether you get a male or female cat, know that the maintenance will be more on you as the owner than in most cats. So it's up to you to make sure that you keep them clean and healthy and both the male and female will appreciate this. So finally, let's recap and look at overall the differences between the male and female Sphinx cat. A male is gonna be super friendly and outgoing, female friendly but more reserved. The male always affectionate, can be a little clingy at times where the female is affectionate on their own terms. The male is a lot more talkative, the female a little bit more subtle only using their voice if needed. 
The male is playful and mischievous. The female, very confident, bold, and knows what she's up to. The male, best overall disposition, where the female is going to be more entertaining, flamboyant, and a little bit more of a diva. So overall, both of these cats are great, and both are going to stand out and get a lot of attention, and you can't go wrong with either one. And we hope you understand better the differences between a male and female sphinx cat, and we'll see you on the next one.